So looking at our next example, we are going to be multiplying the following expressions here. We are going to be multiplying 2x to the power of 4. And we're multiplying that by 5x minus 3. Okay. So let's go ahead and do what we've been doing this entire time. Notice that we are multiplying this term here by this parentheses here. The distributive property, how I've been talking to you guys this entire time, is going to follow the rule. Make sure everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. So the 2x to the fourth is going to multiply with the 5x. And it's also going to multiply with the minus 3. So just again, take it one step at a time and we'll be golden. So here we go. We have 2x to the power of 4 multiplied by that 5x. Then we have the minus right there. So everybody, quick question. When we start writing the second half here, what sign are we going to write? We have a positive 2x to the 4th multiplied by a negative 3. What sign are we writing? Correct. Minus. We are going to write the minus because a positive times a negative is a negative. And then from there, we have 2x to the power of 4 multiplied by that 3. Notice I'm not going to write negative 3 because I already thought about the sign right here. So be very careful about that. But nonetheless, we have the 3 there at the end. So now we'll move forward and perform our operation. So what we'll have here is 2x to the power of 4 multiplied by 5x. When we're multiplying, I simply multiply the coefficients first. 2 times 5, that's going to give us 10. And then we have x to the power of 4 multiplied by another x. How many x's do we have being multiplied all together? Yeah, we have 5x's multiplied together. I would not say 5x. That's, that's something very different. 5x and x to the power of 5, two completely different things. So with that, this is going to be, again, x to the power of 5. Now, with that up next, we are going to be taking a look at the right side here. So here we are going to have 2x to the power of 4 multiplied by 3. So here again, we'll take those regular coefficients. 2 times 3, that's going to give us 6. And since there's nothing over here, we're just going to drop that x to the power of 4 down. And we're good. And that's it. And we're done. The correct answer here, my party people, will be answer choice C. 10x to the power of 5 minus 6x to the power of 4.